my party people. This is Jerry from Jim Alive Plays Games. We are still here yeah, at the so Weird Draft cool. Games booth with Carla. And she has Fire the Library, a wonderful game, which I preview, but I want everybody to know about this game. So Carla, take it away. Okay, so Fire in the Library is a pressure luck game for one to six players that plays in about 30 minutes. In this game, you are a librarian and the library is burning down and you must save the books. But we're not really great librarians or else this would be a co-op game. It's not, it's competitive. Right. So in the game, you are pulling books from a burning library, which is this bag. Sometimes you pull a book and that could be yellow, black, white, or purple. And you keep drawing, Oh, but, oh no, so a fire token. Right. So the turn order cards, um, there's a variable turn order. If you draw a fire token in a safe space, that's okay. But if you draw one in a risky space with this fire icon, you burn things. Right. You also burn things if you draw two fire tokens total. So as you see, while I was playing, I burned things. It was sad. It was so sad. <laughs> so sad that I destroyed a section of the library. Oh, goodness. So this is also a prototype. On the real game, the art will get like more fiery and yeah. stuff as you go down. But so the value of the yellow books has gone up, but we've also revealed a fire token. Yeah. So we take another fire token and we put Throw it, it in into the bag. bag. Yeah. So as you play the game, people will burn things and the values of the different books will go up. Um, but it will also get much riskier to actually um, save the books. So there's a risk reward in there. Right. Um, the game ends immediately when any one section of the library is completely destroyed. And so it's not just a press your luck game because we have all these tools at our disposal. So if I had had my bucket on me when I had burnt, I could have used the bucket, put the fire out, and then thus putting the fire token on there, and then I could have returned to saving books. There's also other tools like the gloves that make every space a safe space, or the shovel, where um, you use it by drawing two tokens, you choose one, obviously I would choose the book if it was book and fire, and I put the other one on there, and I could do that twice on my turn. So there's a total of 13 tools in the base game, and they can help you um, either stop the fire from spreading, increase your odds, decrease the odds of your opponents, or just get you more points. Yeah. It's just a really good game. I, you know, honestly, I played this with everybody, and I nobody had a bad time with it. It's such a nice game. I just like that pressure luck when you pull that. It's like a quick reveal. You're like, oh no, will I get that fire token? You're like, no. And I'm such an idiot. I press my luck all the time. I do. I just do. Um, I live a life of danger. Okay. Uh, so uh, there is a solo mode uh, in this game as well, um, and I love solo games. So. Just give me a little bit of a tidbit so everybody knows what's it, what's it like playing a okay. solo. Okay. Well, there's actually two solo modes because we yes. reached a stretch yes. goal on the Kickstarter, which is so exciting. Yeah. So the first solo mode, um, if you end up burning anything in the library, yep. what the uh, robot player does is it just gains points equal to the um, highest section. However, if you don't burn books, you flip over a tool um, that's in uh, that's on the tool deck and you look at it. Yeah. Um, the icon up here is what is burnt in the library, and then the icons down here are how the AI scores. It's very simple, easy. So while I was having uh, reviewers play this game, um, a c they liked the solo mode, but a few of them were like, hey, that AI is hard. You yeah. made it super hard, yes. and I get kind of stressful. I know um, nothing about that. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but well, I designed it to be hard. Like yeah. a solo um, game should not be like super yeah. easy. Yeah, it actually should be like a, a powerful thing that says, "Hey, this is not something to take lightly." And I'm, yeah. yeah, and that's the robot player. Right. So instead, I made a solo librarian uh, mode where you use um, where you have 12 turns or until the library burns down to meet a certain point threshold, right. and you get bonuses if the library isn't burnt down. So that one. So there's two solo modes. One is apparently less stressful than the other, yeah. but like if you want competition, the uh, AI certainly provides it. Oh man, that's wonderful. So there's a lot of game in that package, and this is not the only game you have. Fire in the Library is coming soon, but you also have Stellar Leap too. Yeah. Yes, I do, yeah. and yeah. that's out right now, yeah. and you can get it at stellar-leap.com. All right. Thank you for taking time to talk about these wonderful games. This is Carla, once again, for Weird Giraffe Games. Um, and stay tuned to Jeremy for Jumbo Live Plays Games, JumboLivePlaysGames.com for more origin coverage.